certainly the special permit process that they are endeavoring to create. Um, hopefully, Yale will participate in it, and it will <laughs> come out of the. Uh, Do we know the impact of the uh, closing of the, um, the part of the prison? Yeah. Uh, I do not know. What's going on with that? Do we have any information on the prison? No. Uh, it is worth noting that our population includes the prisoners. Yeah. It does? It really it does. does. <laughs> oh, it really does. Yeah, but then we don't have half of them anymore. And we don't get taxed? Well, that's the, so, so I, that's I mean, the rub of it. The women. I, I can look into that for you and uh, get back to you on that. They don't okay. like it. Okay. Uh, we don't have an ex officio anymore. Uh, oh, we, for our liaisons. They're, not, they're just not present. Right. Uh, Ms. Palazzo, <laughs> thank you for your summary <laughs> of the last zoning meeting. Our next. Something I want to talk about. Um, <laughs> March 3rd is Mr. Hess uh, this Thursday. Can you make that? Or no, I'm making it for him. Okay, great. All star, Rita. Subcommittees. Uh, can we get a volunteer to take Fran's place on the Climate Adaptation and Sustainable Development Subcommittee? Anthony, scratch your nose. Raise your hand, Anthony. Go have you ever been to an auction? Oh, Anthony, he technically can can't it. speak during <laughs> lucky him. All right, we'll let it pen. We'll do that as we'll table I, it. Yeah, I am making um, some progress with that uh, with Adam Welchel, and I think probably mid-April, end of April, I'll be planning to have a public workshop here. So if you're interested in attending, but it's probably more geared toward inviting the staff of adjacent municipalities. Well, and, and to the, back to the JLOS, the, the Camp Nyanic is probably going to sink. Sink? At some point, right? They had some sort of projection. It's right on the water, potentially. But I, I didn't see, I, I'll have to look at, I didn't see that. They sink? Well, that's, that, it'll be a question for Dr. Welch. Because if, if there is a 50-year horizon on uh, any kind of tidal thing down there, uh, <laughs> That would be in our long-range plan. Well, I know he, he does have online that uh, hurricane analysis tool goes out to yeah. 2050 or 2080, mm -hmm. and w it, it counts for sea level rise should all the glaciers melt. And a lot of people from Miami will be looking for places to live that year. Uh, Mr. Gaishel, do you have anything from staff communications? No, no not, not tonight. Okay. I'm looking for a final motion. Yep. Final motion. Second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 A